In Matthew chapter 23, Jesus is going to start really tearing into the Pharisees. Now, if you have the idea that Jesus was just like a really nice, mild, meek uh, savior, then I think it's going to be challenged in this chapter because take a look at how he responds to religious leaders who had sort of institutionalized religion and they had made it hard for the people to come to know God. He says this, practice and obey whatever they tell you. He's talking to the crowds about the Pharisees and religious leaders. Practice and obey whatever they tell you. So in other words, their message wasn't wrong necessarily, but don't follow their example for they don't practice what they preach. Again, I'll let you read this for yourself. Pretty powerful stuff. He says in verse 11, the greatest among you must be a servant. Now he's probably looking at the Pharisees as he says this because the Pharisees were all about elevating themselves and sort of keeping down the regular people. But Jesus is flipping this on its head. He says, those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. We'll scroll down a little bit further. Jesus is calling them hypocrites. We see that here in verse 23. What sorrow awaits you, teachers of religious law and you Pharisees? Hypocrites, for you are careful to tithe even the tiniest income from your herb gardens, but you ignore the more important aspects of the law, justice, mercy, and faith. See, they were really good at keeping the letter of the law, but the spirit of the law, they were totally missing. You should tithe, yes, he says, but do not neglect the more important things. Blind guides, you strain your water so you won't accidentally swallow a gnat, but you swallow a camel. Now, Jesus is speaking in hyperbole to try to really drive this message home. He says, you blind Pharisee, first wash the inside of the cup and the dish, and then the outside will become clean too. In other words, he's pointing to the kind of faith that really saves us. It's inside out faith. It's not outside in faith. Outside in faith is trying to be, you know, all clean and religious looking on the outside, keeping a bunch of rules for the sake of keeping rules. But in this verse, Jesus is saying, no, real faith starts on the inside. God changes you from the inside and it works its way out. Let's scroll down just a little bit further and uh, let's just finish with this. Jesus is going to grieve over Jerusalem. He says, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city. He says, the city that kills the prophets and stones God's messengers. How often I have wanted to gather your children together as a hen protects her chicks beneath her wings, but you wouldn't let me. See, we, we see the heart of a shepherd here in this verse. The people are the sheep and they're being led astray by the spiritual leaders, the Pharisees that Jesus had just torn into in that previous chapter. And now Jesus is just grieving for the people, um, but they're not quite getting the message. This whole chapter, though, just shows us the importance of spiritual leadership. And don't just think about, you know, your pastor or, or a spiritual leader at your church. I hope you're also, if you're a parent doing this, I hope you think about yourself. Are you leading your kids well? Because you're the spiritual leader of your kids. Are you helping them to find the real Jesus? Or are you just giving them a bunch of rules and regulations? Anyway, you're ready to read chapter 23. We'll see you tomorrow for chapter 24.